I think there needs to be more support from our patron class. Our collectors need to be more involved in what's going on here. Um, they, um, they do a wonderful job of, uh, you know, enriching this museum, enriching our institutions. But if we have any hope of um, having traction for what we're doing here and having the efforts of all these collectives and our individual artists, uh, have it gain more traction, we need people to take what we're doing and kind of dissipate it into the wider world. And, you know, media can do that to a certain extent, but you need people that are your kind of your ambassadors, your representatives to a wider world. You need them to know. You know, I think Lucy Lepard has this, this thing, she, our critic Lucy Lepard said in the 1960s when they were trying to figure out how to write about all this new stuff that was happening in the 60s, all the new art that was being made. She said, Critics need to be around artists in order to have a sense of fact, which is a line from T.S. Eliot. But to, ha to, to create a sense of fact, to, to give yourself a sense of fact, you have to be around artists to know what they're thinking about. You have to be basically like in the trenches with them so that you can then go and report back to your readers about what um, is really going on, to have a sense of fact. And I think that that's true for our collector class. They need to be not no one's asking them to buy anything, but just look at what's going on. And when you're in New York and someone a asks you, tell me about the Dallas art scene, you won't say something negative. You'll say something that gives a wider uh, understanding of what's going on. You'll have actually a sense of fact about what's going on. So you'll then be able to help foster and dissipate these notions that it's a provincial city and that we don't do anything here except buy stuff. <laughs>